Catching up with Brady Quinn at the 2020 NFL Combine. And Brady, I want to start initially with one guy with this Penn State program that you think could be a sleeper in the NFL, linebacker Cam Brown. Why? I think when you look at just his, his physical tools, like he's very gifted. He's got the size, all the measurables that you're looking for. And I think the thing that he's going to probably show you at the Combine is just his athleticism. It's going to jump off the charts um, and just his, his ability to be able to play off the ball, pressure well he's good in coverage uh, the only thing I think you, you look at in his game sometimes in particular the past two years is just some of the missed tackles which like it, it's tough a lot of times those those backers are put in a tough spot uh, out in space um, and, and granted that's you know going to be part of his job now moving on to the NFL level and I think it's something he can improve upon but um, he's the type of guy that I think there's gonna be a little bit of a buzz around after the combine if he performs how I think he's capable of and a guy that's gonna be a huge asset to a team what in your mind is going to is it going to take for him to have that type of caliber performance this week and then obviously throughout the uh, Penn State Pro Day as well? Yeah, I mean, I think at first it just starts off with, you know, running a good time in the 40, you know, vert, all that kind of stuff, kind of checking those boxes and showing off the explosiveness, We're watching the drills and so forth, showing just showing off his hips and his, his ability to kind of, you know, get in and out of cuts. I mean, like he's, again, an instinctual player. I remember, you know, seeing him uh, versus Ohio State this past year and just watching him walk down on the field, watching him move around on the field, like he's got all the tools. So it's just, you know, being loose and, and letting all that stuff showcase on the field. I'm really curious. So from your playing time, obviously you've gone through this experience before, but for the five guys in this Penn State program, what is going through their head this week? What are they kind of trying to adapt to and change? Because it's really the first time that these guys are on their own. Yes, yeah, the first time you're on your own, that's part of it. I think the other thing is, is every little thing you do is being evaluated. You know, you're assigned a scout that walks around with your position group, with your group, within that position group, and that guy is kind of taking notice of everything, and he's, you know, talking to you here and there. You know, the guy we had, I think, was a guy who was out of Denver, and he talked me into it on the bench press test, even though I didn't want to. Um, but there's a lot of hurry up and wait. You know, you're rushing to go do medical stuff. You're rushing to go do interviews and meetings, and then eventually you're testing and field drills. Um, so it's a long process, and, and so there's, I, I don't want to say uh, there's a lot of anxiousness that comes with it because you're waiting, especially now, they've got to wait to do all this stuff in prime time. Um, and so that's the hard part of it, but I, I think if, if most players just have the mindset that it's a competition, you know, go out, show out, have fun, do the best you can, that's it, because you're only going to do this once in your life, and um, you, know, you really can't, you, you can't think or get too hung up on this being the deciding factor of whether or not you get drafted, what you did on the field, that's the majority of what these coaches and general managers are making their decision based off of. Brady, appreciate your time. Best of luck to you the rest of the week as well. Thanks for having me.